here's the station for measuring the specific gravity. Uh, you can see over here I've got a little jar of water right there and I've got a basket hanging to a force probe and that's attached to the computer which is far away from the water in case there's a spill and then I've already got my sample on the table. Now my computer is running Logger Pro and I can see that it's reading a force right now down here at the bottom 0.58 something or other. It's kind of swinging a little bit so it's a little variance and then up here I've got the zero button. That's going to be important for us. So to read the force what I need to do is I need to make sure that it thinks that that is massless. So from right here I'm going to click on this zero button with my mouse so when I do that, it turns the force down here to zero. So that's accommodating the weight of the basket. Now when I put my sample in, it'll, be, it'll measure just the weight of the sample itself. So I'll put the sample in, try to keep it from swinging, that'll affect the weight. And then go over here, and I can see my sample weight is 1.09 newtons. So that's the weight of the sample. To measure the weight of the sample in the water, what I'll do is I'll take the water and slide it underneath the sample. And then I'll take the whole setup it's over here and I'll slide it down into the water. Not sure I can do this with one hand too well. I'll slide it down into the water. So there it is going into the water right there. And now it's completely submerged in the water. I don't want it resting against the sides of the container, so I'm gonna have to move the container a little bit. There we go. And there's the weight of my new sample of the sample in the water. 0.84 newtons. So they're the two weights I need to find the specific gravity.